Damn, this sucks. We've gone to at least 10 houses already, and all we got were three milk duds, a banana-flavored Laffy Taffy, a broken piece of a Reese's bar, a dust bunny, a sewing needle, and a pebble. Yeah, and the night isn't gonna stop for us now. We need to get that Babe Ruth bar in fast. Yeah, but how? Nobody's gonna give one to us, let alone any other type of candy aside from the other toxic waste inside this bucket. Has the idea of actually buying the Babe Ruth bar from a convenience store ever crossed your mind? Huh. Actually, you do have a point. But it's Halloween. Most stores are going to be closed. And even then, there's no guarantee that they'll still have any other candy left. And that, my dear Freddy, is why 7-Eleven exists. The perfect mini market for poor souls to go when other stores are closed on enormous events like Halloween. We just need to go there and get the Babe Ruth. Hell, maybe we can even buy some candy that's actually worth digesting. Good thinking, Thomas. Uh, just one thing. I don't have any cash. Do you have some? Are you enjoying the party, Foxy? I suppose I could go without the rambunctious lot in the kitchen. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Just ignore them, Foxy. I'm sure the party will die down in a bit. <laughs> yeah, sure it will. Can we get going soon? I want to have a relaxing Halloween with the others back at the pizzeria. No, not yet, Foxy. At least let me say bye to Lulbit first. Oh, all right. I guess you two are thinking of bouncing already? Yeah, Foxy wants to head out. He doesn't really care for large social gatherings. Well, I'm glad you two were able to stop by. It was nice seeing you again, Mangle. Yes, you too, Lulbit. You should stop by the pizzeria one time. Thanks. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It sounds like they're getting stabbed. What did you do? Who are you? Run! Ah! Ah! <sighs> hey. Thomas, are we almost there yet? I'm getting kind of tired of walking. Oh, quit being a baby, Freddy. Furthermore, we'll be there in five minutes. Hey, I'm not a baby. We've been walking around for a half hour and you're already tired. You need a stroller. I don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Baby Freddy did a boom boom in his diaper. Hey, don't think I won't kick your ass when we get back to the pizzeria. <sighs> Foxy? Freddy? We need to get moving, you two. There's a killer behind us. What? There's no time to explain. We need to hide somewhere and fast. I don't know. It doesn't look like anybody's behind you. Phew. Maybe we're safe. That's what they all say in horror movies. Look, this isn't a joke. I was holding a Halloween party tonight, 
and then some white rabbit broke into my house and started shanking everyone. We were lucky enough to get out alive. Normally I'd say you'd be lying, but you do look really shaken up. All right, all right. We need to come up with a plan. What were you two doing? Well, I lost a bet with Bonnie, so now I need to get him a Babe Ruth bar. A Babe Ruth bar? Ugh, I hate those. I know. Bonnie has a terrible sense of taste. We were gonna go to 7-Eleven to buy a bar, and maybe the rest of our candy too. Perfect. Surely the 7-Eleven has a phone or someone for us to speak to. They can contact the authorities. Good idea. We'll tag along with you guys, but don't do anything stupid, or else we'll sacrifice you if that rabbit comes after us again. Okay, okay. Jeez.